All right, I don't know really how good you guys can see this or not, but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop up in here. There's this hay field down here and uh, strip of woods. And the deer have been in this hay field pretty good. And there's a cornfield right up here at the top of the hill. That kind of just works the whole thing. And there's quite a few deer tracks going up there. So we're gonna go poke around up top and uh, see if we can't find anything. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I was looking at from like the road of where I'm about to go in. All right, guys, we made it to the top of the hill. And that fence right there is gonna be getting us into the fields. But we're just gonna hang out up on top of this hill, follow a couple trails, and see if we can't run into like some uh, nighttime bedding areas and kind of land down right up the field. Because it is pretty windy up top right now. We'll get some blood flowing before we jump up there. The wind wasn't so bad today. It wouldn't be too cold out. It's only it's only zero degrees out right now. But the wind wasn't blowing 15 miles an hour. It really won't be that bad out here. So stay tuned. I'm going to walk up into this little bedding area right here. Hopefully we can't pick one up in here. Well, no such luck yet, but uh, as I'm walking around, I'm just kind of thinking to myself, and then I decided I would talk out loud, but uh, typically when I go shed hunting, I like to focus on spots that I'm less likely to find them than more likely to find them. Not that that makes any sense, but when I get to a pretty good area, I like to search the spots that aren't as tore up. And I feel like whenever I get to the point of the day where it's really tore up, I'm moving a little bit slower because I've already walked some. And I'm more prone to cover more of that good area other than like, if I was to get out of the car and head straight there, then I uh, uh, just found one. Holy cow. Well. If I would have just headed straight to the cornfield where it's really heavy, by the time I would have got to this spot, I wouldn't have had as good confidence in myself, and I probably would have just ended early. So, uh, well, as I was uh, talking to you guys, look at, there's one right at the base of this tree. That is unreal. That is awesome. It's fresh laying right on top of the snow. That is super cool, but yeah. I think if I would have went to the cornfield and I wouldn't have found anything, you know, I would have been kind of bummed out. And when I got over to these areas where it's not as tore up, I probably would have just ended up calling it quits early. But now I'll stay out here for a little bit longer now that I search this area first. But let's get this thing picked up. Well, that was pretty sweet, you guys. I was just telling you, I was talking out loud, so to say. And I was just reminiscing on it, and I ended up coming across this little one. Oh, it does have a brow tine on it. It's been chewed on already a little bit. Probably being right at the base of that tree like that. But it's definitely fresh. It's number three for the year. Yeah, every bit of it's chewed up. Let me show you. The pedicle, you got some chew on it. Brow tine, chewed. G2, chewed. Main beam, all chewed up. But that's pretty awesome. Three for the year. This is on private property. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna get out of this little bedding area. Jump up in here to this field. Oh, pink leg got stuck. Fence doesn't want to let go. It's got me twice now. Come on, give me my glove back. Thanks. Yeah, so I'm out of the bedding area up here into the field 
what I'm going to do is head right down this fence line. That's that cornfield over there. And right down there is that hay field where I drove past to show you guys kind of where I was headed. So let's see if we can't find anything on this fence row. And I'll see you guys in the cornfield. Just got done walking that fence line. In this little strip of hay field and switches over to this cornfield. I am going to uh, head down this way to that corn. Work my way back into those woods. Hopefully some deer are bedded down in there. Check some beds and uh, I'll check this food. We're gonna jump down a few rows and head back. And then probably head back one more time down the corn and then we'll be back in those woods all right i'm back awesome sweet well i'm headed back down this way i've already walked that way once and i'm headed back this way and i just found my very first antler in the cornfield i have never found one in here or in a cornfield in general it, my eyes are just playing tricks on me i think i see an antler and i walk over not an antler they oh, they're hard to find but heck yeah nice and fresh there's another time underneath that piece of corn sweet let's get it picked up all right Nice. I really kind of like this little guy. It's pretty sweet. Sweet. First shed I ever found in a cornfield. That's awesome. You know, I was thinking about making a knife this year out of one of these. This one right here might be the one. Unless I find one without a bra tie, otherwise I'll cut this one off. Shit's in my hand pretty sweet. Heck yeah, that's number four. Well, you guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. I ended up finding two right sides. Nothing big. I did find this one in the cornfield, which is pretty sweet because I never have found one before in there. So, uh, this is probably my best shed of the year. It'll definitely get bigger, though, because we got tons of time out here to find antlers. and It's still pretty early yet, so... Hopefully the next time I go out, we'll get a little bit more size to them, but otherwise right now they're just a number, so. And a dog chew toy. The dog will get this little one when I get home and start to chew down. He likes to take the wax rings off of them, so I let him just chew them up a little bit. So, he enjoys it. Well, you guys stay tuned for the next one. Otherwise, that's probably going to do it for now. I'm still out in the field now, but I'm going to head back to the car, but I don't think I'm going to find anything else, but if I do... I'll let you know. Stay tuned until next time. See you guys later.